What is up team? I've been getting some feedback and great questions for my track wheel video. So I put together this video to explain wheel offset. There are three axes of a wheel. Let's call them X, Y, and Z. Let's make X represent left to right. Then the Y will be up and down and Z will be in and out. We will use the center of the wheel as our origin, meaning the value of X, Y, and Z are all zero. Now for offset, we are only looking at Z, the in and out. In means towards or closer to the car and out is away from the car. The wheel offset is determined by this surface. This is where the wheel mounts to the car, specifically the hub. When I look at the wheel from this perspective, this is where the surface is. Right now, this wheel would have a zero offset. It is zero because it is right in the middle of the wheel width. It doesn't matter what wheel design I have, it doesn't matter what vehicle I have, it doesn't matter what tires I have. And this is because the offset only references this center line. Now that we know what zero looks like, let's look at positive offset. When an offset has a positive value, that means I'm increasing the distance from the center line to the out direction. So my mating surface is now here, closer to the outside of the wheel. Doing this will place my wheel deeper into the wheel well when I mount it to the vehicle. A negative value means the surface is on this side of the center line, the inner. Moving the mounting surface negative or in the direction of negative looks like this. The wheel is moved away from the wheel well. So where does it get confusing? Most modern vehicles have a positive offset from the factory. Let's say mine was plus 48 millimeters. Getting a lower offset does not mean your offset is now negative. It means you have a lower offset. Having a lower offset can make the wheels poke out past the fender. For example, let's say that this gap is five millimeters. If I wanted my wheel to meet the fender or be flat with the fender, I would decrease my offset by five millimeters. I would either order five millimeter spacers or new wheels with a plus 43 millimeter offset. Clearing big brakes or having deep dish wheels is determined by the wheel diameter, the face design and offset. For example, these are my street wheels. Notice the lip or dish and how flat the face is of the design. These are my track wheels. Look at the curvature of the spokes. My street wheels have an offset of plus 30 and my track wheels have an offset of plus 35. My street and track wheels both are 17 inches in diameter and both have a nice lip, but only my track wheels will clear big brakes. This is because of how flat the design is on my street wheels. For me to make my street wheels work, I would have to add wheel spacers. Okay, so I hope this helped. Feel free to ask questions in the comments or you can contact me on Instagram. The worst thing you can do is not ask questions. So let the questions fly at Google first and then me. Now you can ask me, but finding information for yourself is a very useful skill. Yes, finding information is a skill. So remember to subscribe to the channel, like and share if you want and never stop learning. Until the next time, stay tuned and thanks for watching.